Hello again, valued customer. Welcome to the TP-Link wireless adapter troubleshooting video. In this video, we're going to explain how to troubleshoot the three following issues. One, the driver fails to install. Two, your Windows PC cannot detect a Wi-Fi signal. And three, your Windows computer is unable to connect to a specified Wi-Fi network, or you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, but there is no internet access. Let's first take a look at if the driver fails to install. First, detach the wireless adapter from your computer. Plug it in again, making sure it is securely connected. Then reboot your computer and try to install the driver again. Now, if you are still unable to install the driver, follow these steps to install the driver manually. In this demo, we're gonna use the Windows 10 operating system and the Archer T9UH wireless adapter. Insert your adapter and extract the driver file you've downloaded. In the search bar, type and select Control Panel. Here we go. Select System and Security followed by System. Now, confirm your operating system and system type. Select Device Manager. Expand the Network Adapters menu. And find and right-click the TP-Link Wireless Adapter and select Update Driver Software. Select Browse My Computer for the driver software. Select Let Me Pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Then select Have Disk. Look at the driver file and open the folder that corresponds with your operating system and system type. Choose the INF file and click Open. Wait while the driver installs. It'll take a little while, but not too long. Here we go. Right-click your TP-Link wireless adapter and select Properties. Make sure the device status is labeled, this device is working properly. Okay, how about if your Windows computer cannot detect a Wi-Fi signal? Well, this is what you can do. First, make sure your wireless router is working normally by checking the network connection on other wireless devices, such as your smartphone. Two, check if the adapter is connected securely and its LED light is on. Three, go ahead and reboot your computer. If the problem persists, the following steps will check the working status of the adapter. Okay, in the search bar, type and select Device Manager. There it is. Right-click your TP-Link wireless adapter and select Properties. There it is. The if the device status is labeled, this device is disabled, then select Enable Device. Select Next to Enable, and then Finish. The device status should now say, this device is working properly. If there is an error code, reinstall the driver. If reinstalling the driver doesn't fix the problem, type and select Services in the search bar. Now you're gonna scroll down and look for WLAN auto config and make sure this service is set to running. If it's not, right click it and select start to enable this service. Now it's running. Now let's look at the last problem. Your Windows computer is unable to connect to a specified Wi-Fi network or you are connected to a Wi-Fi network but there is no internet access. Uh, to fix this, let's make sure your wireless router is working normally by checking the network connection on other wireless devices such as your smartphone. Then you're gonna reboot your computer. But if the problem persists, try to reinstall the driver by referring to the TP-Link wireless adapter installation and setup video or the first section of this video. Now we really hope this helped you out. If not, you can always contact us. 
Thank you for watching.